So, now, um, this is kind of like the last thing of the night. Um, I have a, a paper that's due on the 16th of November, and what I am do going to be researching is kind of the public option versus like the Medicare for all, and seeing the comparisons, and so, um, what I'm going to be doing primarily is just research and then just seeing what works better. It's a bit more empirically borne out in deep data and then just see what are the uh, the comparisons and like the benefits and the disadvantages and just kind of just making an analysis from there. So so um, yeah, so the first paper, let me see if it's mm, this was again. Okay. So this one's just comparing the uh, Medicare for all versus public option. Uh, so government funded national health insurance program provides comprehensive medical. Yeah, so there's types of Medicare currently and then just ways we can deal with the public option would um, basically provide a, pr a public health insurance program that can be like in the market. And then uh, Medicare for all basically says that everybody's going to be in a public insurance program. There is not going to be a like, competitive market for it. And it's like, okay. And then there's like off, and these are like the aspects: opt-in, low income, pre-existing, funded method, coverage included, cost savings, and competing plans. Uh, the pe like these are the summary of the problems. People pay about twenty-eight thousand annually premiums. Like uh, I would be curious to see more on the median more than anything. Oh, this is the. Is this it? Okay, yeah. And... So... So, we're gonna start, just do a few questions, is... How many people support a public option? How many people support a Medicare for all? What would it take to implement a public option? What it take to implement Medicare for all? What are the advantages to a public option? What are the disadvantages? What are the advantages to Medicare for all? What are the disadvantages? How many people support a public option? Okay, computer, work with me here. Okay. So there are five types of Medicare programs. There's expansion of Medicare to Medicare for all with deductibles. And the whole goal would be to limit out-of-pocket costs, public option, offer these benefits similarities low cost what are the differences What are the similarities? Low cost, affordable, 
health insurance, nonprofit, lower drug costs. Include individuals unable to receive health insurance privately. What are the differences? Medicare for all, one health insurance option for everyone. No private insurance, no market place competition. Tax funded, much government, run public option, opt in rather than mandatory public option would compete to drive costs down. Could fund through taxes or cost of individual enrollment. Okay, we looked at that earlier. Okay, cool. Where's the, uh... Okay, let's try this. Has become the centerpiece of healthcare reform. Several Democratic candidates so describe a range of legislative proposals to expand public insurance coverage have compared. CBOs issued a report that does not analyze a specific legislation or upper health late offers outlines a range of decision points and policy was based in reconstructing a single payer system. This includes the policy issues, overall overview of Medi for Medicare for all legislation. Single air federal. What would it take to implement make it Medicare for all? Federal insurance program benefits. Previous bills where H long term care HR HR thirteen eighty four thirteen eighty four and S 11 to 9. Eliminate cost sharing. For prescription drugs up to $200. <clears throat> With household incomes above two hundred percent above the federal poverty level, <sighs> prohibit private insurance from offering benefits. Prohibit private insurance 
from offering benefits to not covered by the public plan. Thirteen eighty. Liam versus <clears throat> fee for service to physicians. Global operating budgets for. Hospitals slash providers. Financing mechanisms not included. Thirteen eighty two year transition eleven to nine four year. Transition. Analysis key policy design issues. Uh, includes the comprehensive uh, of the public plan, the role of private sector, approach payment, and Incentives of coverage, increase access, increase role, increase costs of Medicare for all. All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some water. So, yeah. So, you just listen to a uh, after well, and I try guess. to get all of the tumor and then let the patient bleed to death. Like at some point, if it's going to be too risky, you can't do it. So yeah, even if there is something going on in China, like man, risking a war with China, that, that's insane. So you just, you have to, you owe it to your citizens and the rest of the world. Like no intervention is going to be better than, than not, right. than the not. And if your intervention is going to be worse, you just gotta, you gotta leave it. <clears throat> Can I respond to that? that? Yeah, quick response. Yeah, and then we'll go to it. Yeah, I, I, I want to ask you, right? You do, you do owe it to the rest of the world to make to ensure that interventions are going to be targeted and narrow and focused and not more damaging than just allowing China to do what China does. Conversely, you also have to see that the principle of allowing a country, com, you know, commit crimes against humanity just because they have the military doesn't set a good precedent. I agree. Yeah. Interventions should be responsible. They absolutely should be responsible. Uh, but the converse of, I'm sorry, the, the, the lack of responsible interventions doesn't mean you take the equal and opposite stupid reaction, which is no intervention ever, and anybody yeah. can just do whatever they want because they're the strongest. Okay. So um, are we just are we just uh, conceding that everyone here is a consequentialist and that they're mm -hmm. critical theorists? Is that what we're doing? Because, like, no one wanted to engage with the ethics sure. of the discussion. I, I'm going to try to bring it back there, but Spectre's before me. Yeah, Spectre's just curious. Me. So well, like, what's wrong with consequentialism? Uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it later. Uh, Spectre. <laughs> so LSP, based on you know what you just said, like you would be pro intervention in Saudi Arabia, for example, you'd be fine with regime change uh, war there. Yeah, like that's a okay, awesome. Um, like LSP yeah. is the only yeah, one that's I actually yeah. Saudi Arabia is a tyrannical regime that should be regime changed. Okay, so like LSP is the only one that's being consistent here. And the reason for that is, is because like Connor pointed out, like we have economic reasons not to intervene in certain states. And there are other states that like we obviously know that if we go into, it's going to hurt us a lot more than going into Iraq or Afghanistan because they can actually fight back effectively. Um, and what this basically does is exactly what he was saying. It allows bullies to run the world, right? We're only intervening in countries that basically... Okay, sorry about that.
Okay, so what are the benefits? An increase. Increased costs. So, increase access. Reduce inequities. Decrease role of private insurance. needs a mechanism of determining specify which services Services covered if it deems to be reasonable, accessible, and necessary. So, are often performed at local regional levels and generally do not consider evidence about comparative effectiveness or cost. If it employs explicit cost effectiveness analysis, however, there's scant precedent for using cost effectiveness analysis in the U.S. federal health insurance policy and is used for coverage. It's likely to be politically controversial. Middle ground option would be to give Medicare for all strength and capacity to make national coverage determinations using evidence but not use preventative services task force provides one potentially relevant model global payment models so cost sharing the form deductibles is tended to discourage this unnecessary care but research suggests that it can decrease the use of both low and high value care for instance high deductibles and associated with delays cost sharing can also burn patients chronic conditions the use of value-based insurance design, which reduce cost sharing for services deemed high value while maintaining or increasing cost sharing for other services. We have the unintended effect of decreasing the use of appropriate care. One study found that making preventative care was minimal or no cost sharing. Utilization will be governed by factors other than financial barriers. For instance, this is recognition of appropriate care, global payment models, three types of private insurance, duplicative, complementary, and supplementary. Duplicative. Uh, uh, can increase competitive competition healthcare system of complementary insurances, administrative inefficiency, spend less than 79% on premiums on medical claims, controlled by the private entities, Medicare for all greatly diminish. Okay. All right, that was interesting to read. I can read more later. Okay, I already, this one isn't the one I'm looking for right now. 
Nope, that's not it either. Alright, here we go. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm not showing it. Okay. Let's look at this then. Okay. Come on, computer, work with me here. Forty-one percent support in for a ninety seventy-one percent support public option. Seventy-one percent overall. Forty-one percent overall. Okay. So, if you push too hard, they remain valuable. It also offers one path to escape the pathologies and re regressive impact of employer based health coverage. Employer based health coverage, assuming they can open her. Inner complexity could pr would prove to be a more complex policy than many of its proponents because the ultimate source of policy complexity is political. Sales pitch would be under simple the Medicare card to marry American, yet because a uh, single barrier offends so many things, the ACA seeks to leave intact. Medicare for all would raise intricate and divisional device of transitional issues. Major sales pitch to the healthy insured was if you like insurance, you can keep it. This pledge proved politically damaging when it could not be fully kept for a very small portion. Who not receive, uh, had previously purchased rather minimal or at risk misselected plans. Uh, we would fundamentally more disruptive for tens of millions of people as a matter of basic accounting huge reform that creates millions of winners creates millions of losers too affluent workers receive generating generous tax expenditures too many constituencies to count but also the supply side of the medical economy are likely squeezed is there slow impact hmm okay 
Interesting. I'll have to read more over this later. So it seems generally is Medicare for all is complicated. That's not the one I was getting. Premiums of Medicare Extra will be computed in rate of payment on age 60. Help finance a plan. When, when was this released? May 1st, 2008. Jesus. Two enrolls in middle income class. One million people. With voluntary paying coverage, the national insurance connected. Okay. And expand freedom, increase opportunity, and promote equality. Origin and demise of the public option. Okay. For it is to find the Group from Roots Plan in California supported as a voluntary transition towards single payer insurance while conservatives posed as government takeover. President in several interim bills. Public option was admitted from the legislation passed in the Senate from the final package adopted by both houses in 2010. Acknowledging a public option. Health insurance for Medicare, Medicaid, and children has existed in the U.S. However, the public option, which first served in 2002, represented entirely new ideas. Officer was to offer a publicly insured plan in direct competition with other options for probably the idea of, uh, idea of a public option within a state-based health insurance exchange was initially set forth. Proposal known as choice. Benefits and risk. Impact on healthcare markets. Uh, proponents argue the public option would have a major impact on the structure. They believe that it would create a more competitive marketplace, particularly in states with few insurance options. It's also have a public option impact on accountability. Also designed to increase accountability to health insurance by, by definition able to be accountable to elected officials. Impact on cost was a broad agreement among supporters that public option could, could contain costs by creating the use of Medicare rates. Federalism. Well, after all, there's been such a dry night with the public option there. There are clearly wild swings of both hopes. Even though the comprehensive health care reform has been acted without a public option, proposal could have remarried to the public if it comes to outside progress health reform. More likely, a venue with a rebirth. However, with adoption at the state level, states could choose to create a public option today. There's nothing to stop the state from offering one in its new insurance exchange. All right, so it's complicated. Great. Thank you. That's helpful. All right. I think at this point, I'm, I've, like, we basically have kind of come to the point that it's complicated, and there's no clear consensus so far from what I see. I'm just going to do some more research, and then I'll get back to you guys, so you guys take care.